Good morning, Blazers. We're your hosts, Alex and Cam. And this is Blazer, Blazer News. News. Please stand for the singing of your national anthem. Please be seated. Hey Blazers, Eco Team is back with the environmental quote of the week. There is no such thing as away when we throw anything away. It must go somewhere by Annie Lennard. Think about this the next time you throw something away. Where does your garbage really go? Think about it if it can be reused or recycled. Here are some tips to make every day Earth Day. Recycle. Make sure to sort your garbage at home into paper, plastic, and aluminum. Start a garden. Take care of the earth through the upkeep of your garden and planting pollinating plants to encourage pollinators like bees in the area. And turn off your water. When you're not using your water in the shower or brushing your teeth, be sure to turn it off. Now, here's the Eco Team with an update for a fund they applied for. Hi Blazers! Eco Team is working on a very exciting project right now. We're trying to build an outdoor learning space and sensory garden here at the school. For more information about this, here's Ms. Donald. School. Um, the Eco Team is pairing up with my school as well as the construction class. We're hoping to build an outdoor learning space here at the school um, that also pairs as a garden or a sensory garden that the students as well as the public can come and enjoy, um, filled with plants that are both local and inviting nature to come, the bees to come back, um, but also something that can work like with lavender and mint and some perennials that will also help stimulate some calm and sense of community, sense of nature to come back. Um, but for this, we need some extra funding um, in order to buy the supplies to construct the benches and, um, and the garden boxes. We're hoping to make a pergola as well too to provide some shade for those sunny days, um, but also be able to expand on the garden with some of the other plants and other features for years to come as it will be the school community program and other environmental programs who will be maintaining the garden. Um, it's a great way to bring our sense of environment and sense of care for nature um, and take our learning outside especially during this pandemic time. So should we win that's hopefully what we would be able to use our money towards is buying the supplies and just bringing that feature back to education and nature for the community and the students. Thanks. 
fingers crossed. We'll see how things go. So we've sent off our application to the McDougal Family Fund. And if we get chosen for the funding, we can get up to $5,000 for this project. So this is where you come in. In order to win, we need to get the most votes. So we're encouraging staff and students to vote for us. We're using a link right here in this Instagram post on our Bayer Chico team Instagram. You can copy that link into your browser and then you can vote for us once a day per email. So be sure to vote for us whenever you can. Thank you. Thanks team. The Arts Council invites you to take photos of your pets and any animals and then email them to bssphotogallery at gmail.com to have them shared on school social media. Please email your photos by June 10th. Hey Blazers, here's some information from a representative from the Kingston to Interval House. They are the Community Events Charity of the Week. Try to donate and support the charity if possible. Hi there, I'm Lee Martins, the Training, Education and Volunteer Coordinator here at Kingston Herbal House. Our services are offered to women, children and youth who have been, been impacted by domestic violence. And we do this through our core services. We have a 24-hour crisis line that anybody can call for support. We have an emergency shelter. We have a second stage housing where women can stay up to a year in fully furnished apartments with added supports here in place. We also offer outreach counseling services in the community for women, children, and youth, as well as we have specialized programs for Indigenous women and French language speaking. We can also do training and education on domestic violence and run a volunteer program here. All of our services are free and confidential. Please reach out if you need support. You can call our 24-hour crisis line at 613-546-1777 or go to our website, kingstonintervalhouse.com, to find out a lot more valuable information. Take care. Thanks, Lee. Here's a message from Miss Nimi about a Phys Ed-related grad award. Hey, graduates, listen up. This is for you. If you've taken four phys ed credits, you have met the requirements for a healthy active living certificate. If only you have taken three, that's not a problem. If you've had three phys ed credits in regular phys ed class or power fit or kinesiology plus an additional grade 11 or 12 course in bio, nutrition, culinary, or living and working with children and adolescents, or maybe even outside of Bay Ridge, you took a focus program related to fitness and performance or sports injuries, you qualify for this Healthy Active Living Certificate. Ms. Sharp sent you an email back on May 6th with the attached form. You can complete that and send it back to her by June 10th at the latest to be recognized at graduation with this Healthy Active Living Certificate. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact myself or Ms. Sharp related to this certificate. And thanks for your commitment to being healthy and active while at Bay Ridge. Stay healthy and stay safe. See you later, Blazers. Thanks, Ms. Nimi. We still have some more time online, so here's some more computer tips with Mr. Swain. Oh, hi there, Blazers. Well, it's that time you've been waiting for. Those deep thoughts are fun and everything, but these computer tips are where it's at. Have you ever wanted to have a paragraph in some text that has this fancy little drop cap right here? Well, that's what you're going to learn how to do that today in Google Docs. So here we are in Google Docs. And the first thing we're going to do is here's a sample paragraph that I just took off the Internet. This is the title. Now, a lot of people make titles by making the font bigger and then making it bold and maybe even underline. But what's a lot easier is to just go to title and then that will take on the title font. And if that's too big for you, you can also go to heading two or heading three or any of the other different things that you may have here. OK, so use these there. There's time savers and they're good. Now, here is paragraphs. This is the first word in my paragraph. And what I want to do is I want to put a big letter P right there, the same way you see a big letter H right here. Now there's no way to do this in Google Docs that's super easy, but here's your little workaround. I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to go up here to Insert, and I'm going to go to Drawing, New, and then I'm going to click Word Art. I'm going to type my P, and then I'm going to hit OK, Enter to save. This is the default font, it's Arial, so I'll pick something a little more exciting. Don't pick Comic Sans, it's terrible. So I'll try this one, Bree Serif. 
And then I can choose some blazer colors. So maybe I'll make it orange on the inside and give it an outline of blue. And there we go. That's good looking. And I'm going to save and close. And there it is. Now you can see that it's a little bit too high. I want the paragraph to be up. And so I can just click on that, right click, and then I can go down here to image options, go to my text wrapping and say, please wrap the text. And boom, we have a nice little drop cap there. And we got style and all of your English teachers will be so impressed with what you can do now. All right. And then just ignore that little red line. So there you go, Blazers. Drop caps, super easy. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Back to my music. Thanks, Mr. Swain. I was looking for something to expand my computer knowledge. Expanding your knowledge, you say? I think someone else can help us with that, Blazers. Here's Cam with some more life knowledge through his deep thoughts. And now, Deep Thoughts by Cam Haynes. Feeling down? Try feeling up then. Don't make me call yo mama on da frog phone. Remember one time <clears throat> I wasn't having a particularly fulfilling day? Doesn't happen very often, you know? I'm pretty cool like that. Anyway, so yeah, I, I wasn't feeling great and I told one of my friends and he was just like, try feeling up and I was like yo does, does that like work to my surprise it did so just a little pointer for you and this other time I remember well one of my friends was being a bit of a misfeaser <laughs> he was committing some particularly heinous acts and I was like look dude I might have to call your parental guardian and to put it simply I had to call his mama on the frog phone and he was like, I really shouldn't have committed those heinous acts. And then I was like, facts. Absolutely wonderful thoughts, Cam. Your mind amazes us all. That's all for this week's Blazer News. Keep up the great work with online learning as we finish the last Octomester Blazers. And don't forget to stay, stay frosty. frosty.